Hey guys, Jimmy here with One Road, and today I'm gonna replace all of the front brake system components to go from this to this. <laughs> Today, I'm excited to show you the entire front brake system rebuild on my 1995 GMC Suburban. If you've been following my channel, lately you've seen I've been having a lot of problems with squealing and pulsing brakes on this 95 Suburban. Yeah. That needs to be fixed. I was able to replace both of the front rotors, but the problem persists. So rather than moving on to just replacing the pads, I decided to replace everything. At this point, this truck is 24 years old, and these are the original 24-year-old brake calipers, and this is the original 24-year-old brake flex line. What a perfect opportunity for me to replace everything here. Now, these components aren't that expensive. I'm going AC Delco, which is the original equipment manufacturer. I bought it all on Amazon, and I will link everything down in the description below. All right, well, here is the passenger side that's already been completed, and as you can see, I have brand new rotors, brand new calipers, brand new ceramic brake pads, as well as a brand new flex line. This side has been completely bled and is ready to go. Now all I have to do for the passenger side is take my brand new painted brake caliper, install this brand new flex line, install these pads, as well as this new rotor, and we'll be good to go. Being that I have to remove and reuse the bolt on the back of the caliper holding the flex line on, I need to disassemble the flex line. And here you can see inside the engine compartment, we have this clip that needs to come out. And to remove this clip, I'm gonna use my 90 degree needle nose. Just grab it. If you work at it long enough, you should be able to get it. Now this brake line is free and I can use my wrenches and perhaps pliers to get this brake line out of there. I'm also gonna remove this internal baffling here to make my life a little easier. Now I can move this out of the way, giving me better access to the flex line. Now that I have this access, I can work entirely down here in the wheel well to remove this line. In order for me to crack the nut on the hard line, I had to use my locking pliers. Now, to me, this isn't a big deal because this line is being thrown away, but it did allow me a really strong grip on the flex line so that I could crack that nut loose on the hard line. And because this line is now leaking and I don't wanna make an extremely big mess, I'm gonna use this piece of tubing to slide over the end. Once that tubing is slid over the end, I'm just gonna clamp it down with my locking needle nose pliers. That should contain all the mess. Okay, so now the object is to remove this bolt and it's 11 millimeter. Just like that, it comes off. Perfect. These bolts use copper crush washers and you're gonna to wanna to remove the old ones and have new ones on hand. To install our new flex line, we need to make sure we have it in the correct orientation. Now I double checked before I took my old stuff apart so I know that this is the correct way it goes. I'm gonna go ahead and take one of my copper washers, I'll take my other one and slide it onto the bolt, slide the bolt through the flex line and through the other copper washer. Then I'll go ahead and start it by hand, being sure that I'm not crossing any threads. Now that that's hand tight, I can crank on it with my ratchet. There we have it, one flex line installed onto a brand new caliper. Now what we need to do is install our brand new slide pins into the caliper. To lube up these slide pins, I'm gonna be using the CRC brake and caliper grease. The first thing I need to do is remove these rubber hats. Now I'm gonna lube up the slide pin gaskets from the inside. Then we lube up the pins themselves and go ahead and slide them into place. There we go. Just like that. Perfect. Now we can replace these rubber hats. And now we're ready to install the brake pads. For the brake pads themselves, I'm gonna lube them up on the back. Now I can place the brake pad inside of the caliper exactly where it goes, being sure not to get any grease on the friction surface. And of course, I'll do the same thing to this side. Okay guys, so now is time to clean our brake rotor. And so what I'm gonna do is take some brake clean and just spray it down quickly. And then wipe it down. Now I'm gonna do the same thing to this side. And 
Now we can take our clean new brake rotor and install it just like that. And in order to make my life a little easier, I'm gonna go ahead and take one of the lug nuts and screw it up against the rotor to keep it tied up against the hub. This way when I'm placing the caliper, the rotor won't be moving around. Now is the time to install our new caliper by just carefully setting it into place. And now we can tighten down our caliper bolts well, we're down to the last couple of steps. Now we need to connect our flex line back up to the hard line. Go ahead and start screwing all of this back together. And in this case, I'm not going to be turning my flex line. I'm just gonna be spinning the nut on the hard line. That should be it. We are now completely connected and I just have to replace the clip on the back. Now that everything's hooked up, including our flex line and everything is tight, the last order of business is going to be to bleed any air out of the brake system. Just like last time, I'm gonna hook up my clear flex hose. Then I'm gonna pull a vacuum to see if it holds, which it does not. So I'm gonna use some grease around all the fittings, especially the threads of the bleeder valve and also the connection we just made with the hose. Now we can pull a vacuum one last time and hope that our connection is good. And it looks like it's good enough. I'm gonna take my 10 millimeter wrench and slide it over my bleeder valve and crack it loose. And here comes the fluid. Well guys, I couldn't be more happy to report that the brakes are awesome. They're not squealing one bit they feel nice and even, no pulsing, nothing like that. And I've been driving around for a while. I can tell you right now, guys, I'm very happy because this has been quite a big problem and I've been working on it for quite a long time. You can see I just came to a complete stop with no sound whatsoever. All right, so that's it, guys. The truck is now fixed. The brakes are working great. Uh, it's driving great. Everything is doing really, really well with this thing right now, and I'm really happy. As far as my brake setup, it's all AC Delco OEM stuff. I will link everything down in the description below in case you guys are curious. These are ceramic brake pads, and so far, so good. I am getting a little bit of smell from the pads, but that's normal. I researched that and it's completely normal. So that's just the bedding in process, I guess. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video or if it was helpful to you, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please do that. I'm Jimmy. This is One Road and I will see you in the next one.